Hi, this is Angela Murata at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. So in order to create that toggle, you're going to use the switch page set button action. Um, and so you'll create a button, create a page set, and that, that's where it gets a little confusing because you're not really creating like from scratch. Go to your user page sets, and then you can see which ones you have installed on that particular iPad, and you could get them from there, or if you don't have them on that iPad um, and you've saved them out to local files, you could do them from there, or you may need to first go over to whatever it is you want um, to use. And, okay, so page set, and, tap right here, and then you're gonna, I think, send a copy. So you're going to save it to your My Toby Dynavox account. I already have it out there. And then when it's once it's out there, then you could re-download um, it. So you have to, there's multiple ways you could accomplish that. But, um, okay, let me go back. Done. And so I did the same thing to go back. So I made a button to switch page set to go back to Motor Plan 66. But if you don't have those listed, again, if it's something that you haven't customized, any page sets that you have access to would be listed here. Those are the pre-installed. Anything that you've um, created, customized, would be in this user page sets list. Um, I have lots of different users set up, so that's why they're in separate areas like that. You may have some saved out in your local files on your iPad or on that Windows device. Or like I showed, you could upload it to my Toby Dynavox and then download it from there. Hope this helps.